having refused further examination at a couple of good private hospitals in Binyan, Laguna, I found myself feeling a bit too woozy in the head while being in the middle of nowhere at Manila, Philippines. It was now an emergency. Mom has to pass by rather than turn to Tayuman, where my aunt's house would have been, and take a detour to the nearest clinic or hospital whichever one before I might pass out. More next. Well, drawing is definitely second whereas travel is probably third. Yet absolutely, my greatest passion in life is to write. Sulat bala. Magsulat. I write mostly prose and fiction. Plus I blog. Having known since the 80s, the basics of running a computer I have blogged since the 90s. I have also written poetry as well as kept a diary since I was in 4th grade. As a stroke survivor since 2016, I have simply continued to write both as a profession, another post, and a passion. A good constant example being this. my YouTube channel about my stroke. Create. Creating, such as by writing or drawing, has often liberated me from anxiety and depression. Like after I had found out my newborn wouldn't last another day. That was brutal. Pintas gid. Ayugani, I likewise have an afternoon to evening wellness routine to cap each day. It starts with a dining table workout for the stroke affected hand followed by all of my sitting exercises including the one with a wrist weight plus stress ball and then moon bathing at the balcony normally from 5.45 to 6.15 p.m. A least stress after a whole day. I've next got my outdoor walk at around 6 or 7. Papawi sa labas ng bahay. 
Mom afterwards would massage me. And then I use a microwave heated herbal massage pillow in bed. Puru lakad all day, every day. No wheelchair. I must overcome my disabled self. I got rid of my wheelchair in the fourth month. Kahit paano lang, lumalakad ako ng lumalakad. About my outdoor walking exercise and 100 body gear next time.